Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to use the stock history function in Excel and determine the six-month low and the six-month high price for a particular stock. Now, I don't know if the stock history function in Excel is really the most efficient tool for tracking a bunch of stocks. However, if you just need some occasional quick data and you want to be able to make your own little calculator to determine something like a, a high or a low price, or um, it's probably not a bad way to go. Let's give it a try. Now I'm going to start off here in my cell, I guess I'll work on cell A1, and I'll go ahead and put in my symbol. And I'm going to start off just playing around with Microsoft MSFT since we're using Microsoft Excel. Now I want to know the six month low and the six month high, and I guess I'll go ahead and put in the latest price as well so we keep track of that. And down here is where I'm going to have Excel use the stock history function to display all of the closing prices for the six, the past six months. Now to do that, I will start off with equals stock history. Now the stock in question is going to be my cell B1, which contains that symbol. My start date, I want it to be six months prior to today, but I want this to be somewhat automated so I can use this worksheet multiple days without having to change my function values. So my start date is going to be the today function, which is the word today with an empty set of parentheses, minus, I guess we'll do maybe 182, 365 days a year. 182 is approximately half that, so yeah, that's pretty darn close to six months ago. Comma. The end date is going to be the today function. Again, that's just today with an empty set of parentheses. I really don't need any other information. However, uh, I want to put in, I'll put in zero for daily. It would have done that by, the, by default, comma, and sure, I'll get a header on there. It'll be closing prices. So that's a number one, closing parentheses. So there's my stock history function, which should give me closing prices for the past six months. I'm gonna press my enter key, it's gonna think real quick, and it's gonna produce all that data so from about November 23rd from last year to 52121. Now, I am recording this video on Sunday, May 23, so it's giving me 521 is Friday, uh, the last trading date. So that's perfectly reasonable, and that's why your last date or the current date using the stock history function may not really be the current date, but it's the, the most recent trading date from today. All right, well, that makes sense. Now, for my six month low equals, I'm gonna get the minimum price from this range of dates. Closing parentheses, enter, and let's go ahead and do the max equals the six month high is gonna be max from that same range of dates closing parentheses, enter. So the low was 210.11, and that looks like that was literally about six months ago on November 23rd, and the high was 261.97. Where was that at? Oh, looks like it was about April 27th, about a month or so ago. Okay, that's pretty interesting. You know what, I think I'm also gonna display the latest price here too, but I'm gonna do this probably in an overcomplicated way. Um, I'm gonna use the XLOOKUP function. So I'm gonna use XLOOKUP, there it is. Now my lookup value is gonna be the max value of all of these dates. Now I know I could have just done the last date, but who knows, we might change some of these date values around. The nice thing about dates is, remember, January 1st, 1900 is the value of 1. Every day after January 1st, 1900 is given an increasingly larger value. So we know the maximum value of a range of dates is always going to be the most recent date in the range. So I've got the max date of that range. My lookup array is also going to be that same range of dates. Comma. And then I'm going to get to my return array. My return array is going to be the price for all of those dates. And then that's really all I need for my XLOOKUP function. So if you haven't used the XLOOKUP function before, give it a try. It's much better than using the old VLOOKUP or um, HLOOKUP functions if you use that one. Closing parentheses, that's all I need. And of course, the latest price is 245.17 which is, of course, the most recent trading date of 521.21. There we go. So now we have a little calculator to display our six-month low and our six-month high. 
And of course I could jump over here and change this out to uh, Goog, Google. Um, oh, we got a lot of big values, of course, with Google. But now we can see their six month low is 1723, six month high was 2429, and their most recent price is 2345. Okay, and I'll just go ahead and click down there. So basically, there's my stock history function, which is getting the range of prices over roughly a six month period of time. And then I'm using a series of min to get the lowest price or max to get the highest price from those range of prices. And then of course my overly complicated little uh, X lookup function in order to make sure we're displaying the most recent price. So hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for hanging out with me.